Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming where we are continuing our path here. Let's play in Rome. Total War Remastered. Now last time we struck out again against Egypt. Came down here, took Sidon. We also took Tanias and we fought several several battles. Um, now we want to get rid of the Seleucids just because they're an annoyance. Uh, we've got rid of Pontus already. But Scythia would be a good one to try and concentrate on. Problem is, Scythia have an army just like up here, um, which we need to get rid of, uh, which would be really nice because it's sit it's kind of sitting like a general's, uh, like a rebel unit. Uh, but in terms of this turn, I believe we have a battle to do somewhere. Yeah, here we are. This is where the battle, and we've also got this one up there. So we've got these two battles to do. This should be fairly easy, apart from the chariots, as usual. Good bit of experience for our uh, archers. They, they're they not gaining experience quite quick, quite as quickly as they used to. Um, I don't know what the deal with, with that is. Uh, in, definitely in Rome, the original, that... They seem to gain experience a lot more. This this game seems to reduce the amount of experience they have by quite a bit. Um, or they gain. Or maybe it's just because we're smashing everyone. I don't... Like, the, for the amount of hours that I've played this game, um, both in its original form and this form, it's kind of weird that I don't know how the experience works. I know, obviously, if they fight, but if they... Say they lose half their troops and then move on to another unit um, and kill say they lose 100 troops and kill 100 whether that's more experience than they say they lost 100 uh, say they lost 110 but only killed 10 I don't know that wasn't a great example um, but say one of these is reduced by half and reduces another unit by full would they gain the same experience as if they lost none and killed the other unit um, in full? I don't know. We'll get these horse archers. Uh, they do have um, two towers there. I think that should be okay. We've just got so many horse archers, it is redonkulous at this point. Uh, once again, the, uh, the old recording software being shit. Thank you. Alright, this. You need to get up to there. And slingers, let's get up to here. Um, we can get a nice. I'm, I'm guessing these guys on the end will get shot, but I'm not too bothered. We have so many. Uh, we don't need that on anymore. They should be getting shredded. Your soldiers and the battling ram Not destroyed any of the chariot, uh, any of the chariots yet. Now we've seen how badly chariots can screw up um, zero morale troops. Now comes the test of their courage. Your soldiers have broken through the gates. Get here. Order them on and hound the enemy. Should be killing some of these chariots now. Yep. It's just an absolute hailstorm of arrows, this. Um, and now who do we have left to kill? I don't think we've got anyone. You go there. You come up here. This, These guys have been getting shredded a bit, but fine. Like, one unit, and then this guy's taken one loss. I don't know whether that's... I don't think that's friendly fire. I doubt it would be friendly fire. I'm surprised these guys aren't routing. They're wavering, but there's only one unit left. You come up here. What are they doing? That's dumb. What are you doing? I don't want you to take melee with these guys. They were wavering, though. Um, just get out there. 
Where's my general? You come here, I don't want you to charge directly into them now. Okay, well I guess you are then. Fine. Fine. They should break. Yeah, there we are. Did lose a few general units there though. We need to really get them... Uh, we need to get a huge city so we get upgraded to the armor needs in general. That has a huge amount of armor. A bit slower, um, but massive, massive amount of armor. Which is class. Same as cataphract, basically a cataphract um, unit, but because it's general, I have double uh, hit points, I'm guessing. Jerusalem, right, all these Egyptian settlements, we're going to start exterminating them now rather than enslaving. Because uh, most of them are already cities, but, but maybe Bostra will enslave. Especially, oh, Memphis is a huge city already, that's kind of annoying because we'll always have a culture penalty here then. But, uh, it's okay. Now, uh, what do we want to do? First things first, get rid of horse. Good way. We do not care about horse. We care about Zoroastra. Now, retraining-wise. Yep. And they have the ability to get archers. Hmm. I would like to replace... If we get four archers, that'd be nice. We got a lot from ex exterminating that settlement then. Okay, I remember you wouldn't be you couldn't move. Train increase, good commander, brilliant. Back again. Um, yeah, so I do seem to remember we had another battle to do somewhere, or was it just that one? Now, yeah, yeah, we're taken there. It was just that one then, I'm guessing. We don't have any large numbers of troops anywhere else. They're all tied up, so let's end the turn, see what happens. We've got a lot of money now. Um, that's why I can move a tiny bit. <laughs> Great. Ah, come on, Seleucids. What are you doing? You fools. You fools. I knew they were going to do that. That's really annoying. Um, new son adopted. Where are you? Oh, that's awesome. That is exactly what we needed. We've got four besieged settlements now. Well, Damascus we knew about. Though, that Seleucid idiot. Scythia and... Okay. Two Seleucid... Armies. That is like chariots as well. Now, what rebel... Not rebels, mercenaries do we have available? Okay, Sicilian pirates are good. Eastern infantry are dog shit. But it might work. Why did you go there? First time I've twisted the map around. Okay, if they attack, they won't be able to attack into the city this turn anyway. But we'll send him... Um, so these guys as well. I'm pretty sure that that will be enough. I know they're chariots. It might not be. If not, we'll send one of these armies over. I'm just going to resolve this with AI. There's literally no point fighting it. I mean, probably to kill that guy, but we're going to end this Seleucids very soon anyway. They only have four units in this city. It's a minor city, Sardis, so we've got to remember that for when we take it. Let's go have a look for Halicarnassus. See what rebels are available. Wow, lots and quite good ones. So we'll see what's in Halicarnassus. It looks like just one. If it's just one unit, we'll be able to take it. Oh, we do need infantry, though, to man a ram. We'll take two Cretan archers, because they are brilliant. Mercenary Captain Galmata of Arshak. Very nice. Now let's get this building done. Hmm. What do we want to do at Susa? I think we go for that so we can start getting armored elephants as soon as possible. Up here we need happiness, but none of this gives happiness. Hmm. Wall does. So, guess that's the only thing we can do there. Uh, 
Kumpasalani, same, you need happiness, so there we are. Hatra, doesn't matter what we build at Hatra. Nicomedia, I think the Shrine to Zoroastra is probably best there. Tanez, no. We're building the Temple of Zoroastra. Now we have roads as well, which is good. We'd be able to actually move around. Yeah, we need to send that guy out. And Jerusalem, what do we want to build? I think probably the Execution Square, keep that public order nice for this turn. Okay, you move there. That's where you want to go. You're moving that way. Now, what do we want to do to defeat this? It is only probably a few horse archers. Thinking we take... Hmm, maybe an army like that big and take more mercenaries if there is them. I don't want to take the hoplites just because... We want to get there as quick as possible. It's going to take two turns anyway, so that's just reduced it. Still two turns. That's fine. I hope that they are not able to man any siege weapons. If that's all cavalry, they will not be able to. Which is excellent for us. Tanaeus, if we put you low, we can actually go. Now we need to come down here. Um, you can be around building watchtowers. Because we need them out here. We can't see anything. <laughs> Let's go about there and build, build another one. Right, we're in position here. We're in position up to the north. We're in position in Anatolia. Yep. Now, how are we doing in Egypt? Yeah, fine. I'm, I'm fine. We just need to take this battle. Also check that we are building everywhere that we can. Right, let's take that battle and see what happens. Um, looks very easy, so should be okay. I don't think we'll bother retraining these guys. We'll just try and use them effectively so we don't lose too many. Um, and then we'll just turn around, get back on the way towards the proper Egyptian cities. Now they have a huge city, they should be able to recruit some better troops, but it's Egypt, so they're not going to, they're just going to recruit trash. <laughs> Classic AI. If we are to die, then let us do so honorably, and let us send many of our enemies What the hell? The Why is the general stood in the midst of the hillman? That's a weird, weird thing to do. Hillman, I'm not bothered by you, but you might as well just stand there. Right, these guys, lots of you. Lots of overlapping circles. Uh, that's one thing we probably would be nice to uh, get the... Uh, get the Persians just because they're just so much better to maneuver and stuff the thunder of a thousand hooves this is this a night battle or not I don't really know we'll go I think we'll go this way I oh, know we're right near the edge here aren't we there we are Lemonek come on Oh well, let's just go here. I don't care. But they're not, they're not going to be able to even come near us anyway. Okay, we're getting fired at. That's the one issue that we have. And we're also probably taking friendly fire right now. If we all run this way, we'll all run past them and be able to fire on them. Very hard to see with this light, actually. I don't, I don't quite, lo I don't really like it. Is it a night battle or is it an evening battle? Egyptian chariot general. One person we have to be wary of. I'll just come here. 
we should all be able to fire on that chariot. Well, they're withdrawing. They're withdrawing, I think. Yeah, withdrawing. Oh well. Um, who are you? Skirmishers. Do don't care about you. Right. They should have all stopped firing. Hopefully. Yeah, they have. Oh god, I would not bother about these hillmen. Nubian and spearmen are going to get sandwiched though. Once we've killed all these guys, which should be soon. We'll turn fire at will on and we'll just create a wall. Should be able to batter them. Right, get in there, general. I want them to fire on these guys. Um, Hillman, get out of there, actually. Actually, General and Hillman, get out. There we are. Nice. I was hoping that they would get some experience from that, but... Whatever. they got three soldiers remaining, and I, I guess that army probably survived, because one of them was a general. What were they thinking? They need a full stack of armoured troops to take on these inexperienced horse, horse archers. Really? That's probably... I think... I mean, this army's fine. Two hillmen. Not a problem. Mm, what should we do? With you guys. There's this army. Prefer that army not to go and siege, besiege Sidon because it's just annoying. But, I think with you, we'll go to Bostra. We also recruiting anyone up here. No, we were going to recruit them when these sort of things are built. Yeah, when that's built and then we, we can recruit Persian cavalry from both. Um, just because it would save on the money, but we're doing good for money. So, maneuvered here. We aren't maneuvered. Yeah, yeah, we're maneuvered everywhere now. So, let's end the turn, see what happens. Ah, those uh, ships. I forgot about the ships. Oh, they're, they're attacking Jerusalem. That's absolutely fine. Okay, we should have taken... We took the Cretan archers. Oh, we're not going to win this. They are just normal hoplite. Uh, it's, just, uh, it's just generals. Just recruit, and we'll... Retreat. Oh, looks like a nuclear bomb has just gone off. Wow. Ready to sail. Okay. You train them. Keep recruiting. Probably. It's just annoying. We'll keep an. We'll keep a navy on in the. Uh, this be the Caspian Sea, right? Um, keep a navy there. Seleucia has expanded. Awesome. Jerusalem is besieged. We don't care. Egypt and the Greek cities. Greeks are just allying with all our enemies. But they ha they are yet to declare war on us. So I don't really know what they're, tr what they're planning. Um, the Greeks look pretty weak anyway. So they probably won't be an issue. We'll go up for the stone wall just to get a bit of... Um, more public order. A lot of these places need to start upgrading. What do we go for in Antioch? I think we go for market because we need we need the market and we need a couple of other market buildings to get the next uh, to get the armor at the large city. Sinope, we went for farming, did we? Okay, we'll go for mines now that we have money for that. Ankira, market. Palmyra, just doesn't matter. Uh, Nicomedia, go for farms. Okay, we've got that battle. Um, get a few of these troops in there. That's about right. We've got we've got too many troops. 
So we're going to recruit probably a couple of Hoplites, Thracian. I th yeah, that'll be enough. Just a couple of Hoplites to, to, to uh, balance theirs. Ah! Keep forgetting to do that. I should be taking... If you take the cavalry out and attack just with the cavalry, it'll start the siege. And then you can get the infantry to join later. So I should be doing that. Um, but I'm forgetting to. Right, let's come and have a look. Petra. Petra, that's fine. We need to get to this one. Yeah, we don't need to worry about no uh, Persian Archer upkeep cost right now. Okay, we've got two more here. Are you for... Oh, they're for this one. Yeah. Yeah, they're for this one. It's nice to see one one unit with two silver, but the rest are not experienced. I wonder whether they, that must have come from one another army, surely. Okay, this guy's gone. Hmm. This mercenary army is pretty useless. I do want you managing Antioch. Ah... Uh, Love to get rid of it though. I think we'll keep it. I know it's dumb. I know it, it'll cost upkeep, but ah, you know what we could do with it? Go to those islands. Let's get this army to this island here to take take the island. What's it called? Sardis? Sardis? No. Sardis? Maybe. I oh, know this is Sardis. What's it called? Salamis? Yeah. Something like that. Wait. Okay, yeah. Let's go. Just... We haven't fought Seleucids for a while, but... Classic trash. Classic trash. But, um, yeah. Classic trash. Rubbish. Rubbish. Rubbish troops. The rulers of the states are the ones... They're the only ones who should have the privilege of lying. Not sure you were right on that, Plato. <laughs> Look where that has led us. Oh, well. I'm sure Plato would be very happy. But, no. I don't know. So we've got a few battles to take on this turn, it looks like, but I've got to rush off at some point. So I'll take, depending on how long it takes, we'll, we'll take this one and then we'll see whether we can do another. Maybe a smaller battle. Not a siege. It's just pure sieges. I mean, <laughs> think about how much fun we would be having if we had Roman, Roman units now, but we would just be smashing through people, but... Peeling them in the streets. Making them pay. But, no. We are stuck with horse archers which are unbelievable on an open battlefield. But for this sort of thing, maybe not ideal. Do you know what? I'm not bothered about taking damage from, from them, so let's just go down here. Why does it always sound like he's saying battling ram? Uh, oh, what? I think we do the rest with the generals if we can. And the slingers. These guys are just too bad to maneuver. No, that's dead. Start firing. Yeah, start killing these guys. Taking a bit of damage just from the towers anyway. I mean, this is uh, a large town, I think, or a minor city. Uh, they're dead as well. Right, let's go. Let's get back. Let's just, like, go here. So, if anyone tries to chase any of my guys out of the 
Arena of Death, we shall kill them. Um, Slingers. What's... Um, actually, you guys come this way. Uh, I'm guessing they're actually going to want to go... Wait, if we need two general bodyguards... I oh, know, that's just militia cavalry. They're, they're trash. You guys just come up here. I don't think you're going to get needed. We can just charge these guys. I'm not bothered about using the uh, javelins on them. Um, use the javelins on the general's bodyguard, though, if you can. Killed a lot of them there. Um, where's this general's bodyguard gone again? 30 left. Which one? Okay, that one was okay. I was kind of thinking going into this battle that he was kind of expendable anyway, because... Wow, 30 of them still. Right, okay. Uh, you, yeah, those two are running. That's fine, though. The one where the general's dead is not actually running. You just fire your peeler. Have they got an armoured one yet? Or is it just a normal one? Right, everyone get out. <laughs> Gonna have to do this the terrible, terrible, awful way. Um, you guys all come here. The most boring way to do sieges in the world. Yes, now we should all be able to fire now. Can we not? Surely you guys can fire on this guy. Should he come over here? They should be killing these guys. Are you not firing or what? You all gonna fire or are you just gonna sit there and be shit? Right. Okay, forgot I left these guys up here. Um, why are they so slow at responding? Come on. At least these young ones don't die. That'd be nice, but they might die. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is what laziness gets you guys. Just so you know. I think that's the only one left. Right. I need to come up here. I'm guessing they're just going to be stupid and, and charge them though. Like they did. Yes, they are. Uh oh. No, stop, 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 stop. Ah. Uh. They're getting... I just want to get a charge into them, to be honest, when they're out of their little block. Take this guy up here. Might force them to move. And... Let's go. Yeah, there we are. They broke. That's fine. Oh, dear. Dear, dear me. Awful. Just over my shepherd's bodyguard. <laughs> oh, that was a lot stronger than I thought. I thought three of ours would be able to take on one of theirs, but you never know. You never know battles like that. On this difficulty, you can just get shredded every now and then, and then you don't really understand why. Cost of religious buildings by 30%? Not bothered. Okay, so this was a city. Probably should have exterminated it. Um, ooh. Upgrades, upgrades missile weapons and armor. And light and heavy weapons. Let's go for that. Very nice. 
Population growth not bothered by you. Okay, you are going to take that battle. Okay, just so I remember, you are taking that battle. You are marching on Bostra. You are coming out of Jerusalem. And you guys are going over to Samus. Oh, hello, Greeks. Full stack. Armoured. Yeah. So, the Greeks are going to be a bit of a challenge. Especially with this very weak... In terms of their missile attack and experienced army. Um, but eh, it doesn't matter. Hatra will still we'll still beat them. Hopefully. Hopefully, I don't know. We might not, but you know, you'd hope so. What's he doing? Oh, okay. That was the faction here. I could have thought I could have sworn he was a faction leader. This guy is a faction leader now. The leader of the army in Jerusalem. Ah, uh, cool. That's fine. The faction air. Um, yeah, I think that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully next episode will be a bit longer. A few more battles. Um, but thanks for watching once again. And I should see you again on the next episode.